Hello and welcome to a, another absolutely scorching morning here in beautiful Nova Scotia. It's going to get up to uh, the high 70s, low 80s, that's scorching for, for me as an Englishman anyway, especially in early June. And this beautiful weather is showing me that summer is here. We've had quite a warm spring, but still you're always worried about, especially here in Nova Scotia, always worried about the old frost coming in, etc and you know not planting out your more tender veg like or fruit and veg like tomatoes and and in this instance corn and I nearly planted this out last week but I was just just waiting just waiting and now we're into June first week in June at the end of the first week in June and it's like I said scorching weather I even went in the pool a couple of times yesterday so definitely got to be warming up so I thought I should plant this beautiful sweet corn and sweet corn is one of the you know the great things of the end of summer when literally taking an ear of corn straight off out of the garden into the kitchen quick couple of minutes in some boiling water out butter on it absolutely beautiful delicious or you could do it on the barbie or anything but it's one of those great summer late summer sort of foods but it like it's quite you know it's a little bit particular about how it grows as i said it's one of your tender veg so it you know it likes the weather to be nice and hot so as i was planting this out you know the first week in june i thought i would give you my five tips on how to get really good strong sweet corn and a bumper harvest come august time september so the first thing, as always, with any plant that we're about to grow, is the soil. And what sort of soil do you need? Well, it likes nice, rich soil, but it also likes nice and light soil. You know, it's a very quick grower, and its roots want to get out and about really quickly, so it doesn't want really sort of heavy, stony soil. So a nice, light soil like this, and you can see this here, absolutely beautiful look at that look at that lots of uh, compost being dug in here and and manure and i've also got a mulch of seaweed on top so any sort of nice organic mulch is good but you don't want to um sort of uh put loads of fertilizer on like uh nitrogen type heavy fertilizer on your on your bed as soon as you're uh, uh, as you're planting the actual corn because corn is a grass and all that's going to do is any sort of nitrogen type fertilizer is going to fire straight into the leaves and the growing of the corn and make it grow too quickly and if it's growing too quickly because it's got shallow roots it, it could have a tendency to sort of fall over especially if there's a bit of wind so Amending your soil early with a nice bit of manure and making sure you've got nice, rich, light soil is a good thing for when you're planting the actual. So another sort of thing you need to be thinking about is your situation with the corn. Obviously it's gonna grow a good six feet high, possibly even more in a very short period. And like I said, it's got very um, shallow roots so it's got a tendency to fall over if it gets a bit windy. So you want to plant it in a sort of more sheltered position as possible. And then like here, I've got, um, we're quite just below the brow of a hill. So, you know, a wind, the wind tends to go over us anyway. But i am also got some nice protection there from that, that tree and the trees here. So this is quite a good position to, to plant corn. And I've actually... I'm actually planting these corn in this bed and I've put some, sowed some seeds of corn in that bed as well. So uh, really good position for corn. So that's uh, one of your you know, really important things is that uh, plant your corn in a nice sheltered position. So we are gonna plant the corn and there's nothing particularly um, uh, nice, nice bit of corn there, nice. See the root ball there. There's no special planting technique when you're planting your, your corn. You just want to plant it at about the same level as you had it. Just put it in nice and firm. 
Um, while I'm planting it in, I've just realised I planted it a bit too far that way, so let me just move that over. I want to get as much corn in here as possible, so... There we go, that's a better position. Right, so also you want to plant it about a foot and a half apart. So when you're planting, you know, each one of these, so these are uh, the next sort of tip, germination. Now, um, corn is not germinated by pollinators like, you know, most of your other veg. Um, it's wind pollinated. So when we're going to plant this, I want to plant it in a grid fashion. So, you know, I want to make sure it's basically a square with lots of corn in it. So that when, whichever way the wind blows, when it's... Uh, um, when the flowers are out because the, the male flowers on the top and it um, and when the wind blows the pollen comes down onto that that ear below and pollinates the actual plant so we want to make sure that we're in a grid fashion so that any sort of way that the wind blows then the pollen is going to go and pollinate the actual female flower so let me plant these out in the actual position. So I'm going to plant them out about a foot and a half apart. So I'm going to plant this out in the grid and then we'll talk about the other things that we need to think about when we're uh, to get in a really good harvest of corn. Even though it's really hot at the moment, because I've got the mulch over most of it, even though uh, the seaweed has shrunk a bit, it's really nice and moist underneath the mulch. And that's why it's really important um, to have a mulch on your, your beds. And we'll talk about that when I plant these up. Another one of the good reasons to have a mulch on your bed of corn. So I'm going to, like I said, plant these in a grid what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger these in a zigzag. So this one here, I'm going to plant towards the end. So I wish you could feel this soil, it's absolutely beautiful. Right, so the next one I'm going to plant sort of in the middle of the next two. Now, obviously I'm a no-dig gardener, so really all I'm doing is um, making a hole where the actual corn is going in. I'm not trying not to disturb any other part of the surface to keep that sort of micro system underneath of organisms, the microorganisms underneath the earth doing their job, not disturbing them at all. Okay, so we're all planted up. It's only actually half the bed. I should have really thought about that actually. There's only 21 plants, so yeah, half the bed. I'm gonna plant the, um, sow the rest of the bed with actual more corn. So then I've got a nice succession of corn, hopefully, over, over that sort of uh, late August, September period, and I can really, can really gorge on corn, which is absolutely fantastic. So, um, a couple of things I forgot to mention when uh, when planting the corn is when to actually plant the corn so like i said i'm in june don't normally wait until june here in nova scotia to even sort of sow corn. so one of the things corn is is that that plant that loves hot temperatures so don't sow your corn too early don't plant your corn out too early it will it likes soil temperatures of at least sort of uh, 10 degrees 
and sort of daytime temperatures really around your sort of 20 degrees sort of 70 degree Fahrenheit mark as a rule and in, when you're getting into summer it really wants things to warm up so don't plant your corn too early and at the same thing as well don't plant your corn too late so here in Nova Scotia we have frosts possibly in late September so I don't want to be planting my corn halfway through July it won't have a time enough time to to grow and then mature before the frosts come so don't plant your, your corn too early with frosts and you know even if it's warm in the early spring your soil temperature needs to sort of warm up it will just sit there and sulk and not do anything so you might as well time it like I have now to be planting it out the optimum time in in June time and like I said I could sow seeds in June and they will grow really quickly once they germinate and they will be good enough as well so that's your sort of sowing we said about um, making sure that your bed is nicely fertilized but early not you know when you're just about to uh, to plant putting a load of nitrogen rich fertilizer that will just make them grow too quickly now watering they like moist soil they like um, their, their roots even though they're shallow rooted they you know um, they like a lot of water so you've got to make sure that they're nicely watered and one good way of doing that is by mulching and that's one of those uh, sort of famous old I think First Nation ways of planting corn etc is the uh, what's it the three the three something or another anyway where you plant corn grows up tall and then you plant climbing beans that climb up the beans and then you put um, you plant pumpkins or things like squash like that that grow all the way around on the ground and that will shade the roots so that is why a good mulch is good for shading the roots keeps the roots cool also keeps the moisture locked into the ground so that is good for the plants so the plants um, are not getting stressed by a lack of water oh I need to sit up this way so that's the watering keep them nicely watered fertilizer like I said you don't really want to um, be adding fertilizer throughout the season a good yeah, a good rich soil should last it all the way through the season so that is good nice sheltered position now when the it's time to harvest when is it time to harvest so how do you know when the corn is ripe and ready to harvest well one of the uh, one of the portents, one of the, uh, the things that I'm going to show you is the silk on the top of the actual ear of corn. Once that turns dark brown towards a sort of black colour, that is a really good signal to say that it's ripe. So there, we're looking at that one. Then the next thing you want to do is pull a bit of the green leaf back and then look at the actual corn. If it's obviously a nice yellow colour, then that's another good sign. And then what you want to do is go... A uh, three or four or even five kernels down the actual ear of corn and put your fingernail pop that kernel with your fingernail if the water that comes out is clear and watery then it's not ready to harvest if it comes out a nice milky thick color then it's definitely ready to harvest and you want to get that um, corn off there and into the uh, the kitchen the longer after it's sort of ready to harvest that the ear stays on the uh, the plant the more starchy it will start to taste rather than that really beautiful sweet taste of sweet corn that you get so you've got a good two weeks I think after it's sort of ready to harvest to leave it on there and after that you want to pull it off and you can store them you know in a nice cool dark area so there we go, summer is here. There's five or six tips on making sure that your corn is ready. It's gonna grow beautifully, nice and healthily, and then produce a nice big bumper harvest of big, fat, juicy, sweet, sweet corn in the late summer. Absolutely beautiful. Jobs are good. Right, I better get sowing. <laughs>